it's Friday. We're making a drink today because I make uh, drinks every Friday that I see on Pinterest. Cocktails. So if you're not 21 or over, I would suggest saving this uh, drink video for someone who is and uh, giving it a thumbs up before you go. In the meantime, I'm sweaty. I, I thought that we could make a Cinco de Mayo drink that everyone would love. Um, when I went to my work retreat back last month and I shared it in my monthly vlog, I was on team tequila and we were in charge of preparing drinks for the entire crew. One of the drinks we prepared was a cucumber chilada and everybody loved it. So I thought that would be the perfect Cinco de Mayo drink. And then I was like, why stop at the drink? Why not make a wonderful fiesta meal? And I got a little carried away. I went grocery shopping and my eyes were too hungry. And so I made some stuff, like it looks good. I haven't tasted it yet, but I worked up a sweat. I'm feeling a little bit exhausted for this one singular video, so. So if you wanna see the delicious side dishes that I made, or I guess they're actually main courses, maybe a little side. Anyway, stay tuned. First, we need to make a drink. The drink we're making can be found on Giggles, Gobbles, and Gulps. Linda, well done. I've had this, it is tried tested, tasted, and true. so thank you. To make this drink, you are going to take your cocktail shaker and you are going to add lime juice, cucumbers, simple syrup, and a shot of vodka. You're gonna shake that up, strain it into your glass, and top it with Corona. Doesn't she just look gorge and refreshing? I think so, I know so, I've had one before. So, I do recommend, but would you like to watch me drink it? <laughs> Yeah. Tell you what, that is tasty stuff. You're gonna like it. It's real good. And you can just keep pouring your Corona right on top. The fun never stops. Now along with the cucumber gelada, I also decided to make these tiny street tacos. Uh, to make them, you take the tiniest tortillas and you put olive oil on them and then you bake them for 10 minutes. And while they bake, you brown and crumble uh, turkey or beef. And you put some kind of like Mexican seasoning all over the turkey and beef. And then when the tacos are done and cooled, you then put the turkey on it and then you top it with a uh, pico de gallo. And then on top of the pico de gallo, you put this sour cream and guacamole combo. And on top of that, you're going to drip a little bit of hot sauce. Do those not sound and look delicious. I've got a plate of them right here. I haven't even tried one yet and I'm super proud of myself because they're just so cute. Now, could there have been an easier way to make them? Were they a little time consuming? I mean, that's up to you to decide if you were to make them. I say yes, um, but let's take a bite. Hmm, it's gonna be a little awkward for you, but here goes nothing. I will tell you that I'm very, very happy. Yes, worth it, totally delicious. Um, the tacos, I don't know if it's because I put too much olive oil on them or what, they're a little bit like chewy. They don't just crisp and break off. Kind of like, you gotta put a little, you know, grunting into it, but totally worth it. These are delicious. Also, who knew that guacamole and sour cream mixed together makes the most delicious cream sauce Ever. Now I didn't just stop there. I had to also make a giant chicken fajita salad. Now to make that, all you did was saute red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, onion, and chicken in a frying pan with some seasoning, Mexican seasoning. Get them all nicely cooked. <laughs> Throw them on top of a beautiful bed of lettuce. And then off screen, I made some kind of lime dressing. It was like, Mexican seasoning and lime dressing and I don't know if I, I just follow the directions Hey, I'll link to the recipes below that I followed one was on the tasty app Which I've been very much enjoying and the other was oh Oh, they're called three bite tacos and that was at Stylemepretty.com. So way to go and look at how delicious this is. It's gonna take me a couple days to finish but let's dig in Mmm, yeah. That's why I couldn't have a cooking show because I would just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so that's delicious. That's that's delicious. I like you. I've really been into salads lately because uh, mom has put on some pounds this year. I wonder if I have a problem with portion control. Hmm, mm -mm, not me. You know what, I also bought the fixins, what I think are fixins, to make choco tacos. Did you guys have the, I, we used to have those in high school. They were in the student store and Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. So I bought Eggo waffles. <laughs> Not, you know, part of the wonderful thing about Choco Tacos is that wonderful crunch. Um, so the tacos I make are not gonna have that. They're gonna be Eggo tacos. And then I thought I could just fold them while they're still warm, hold them like that. Put ice cream in it first, then dip it into that magic shell hard chocolate, and then dip it into sprinkles, and there you go. I didn't actually go through and make the choco tacos that I planned because I got tired, quite frankly, and lazy, so I gave up. But if I decide to do them after this video, I'll film it in the process and then toss in a quick uh, update on how they turned out. I don't know. Maybe they're delicious. I think it's delish. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We really nailed it for our Cinco de Mayo preparations. I just hope this stuff will keep for another two more weeks. Um, or so, however long, till Cinco de Mayo. Uh, you should make one of these three items, if not all three, and for sure, number one, this, because the cucumber chilada needs to get into the rotation. It's that good. This is gonna be your, one of your go-to summer drinks. It's got tequila and Corona in it. It's like double header, right? That's what you need, a double header. So, I hope you get one. Have a good weekend, cheers! Despacito Quiero respirar tu cuello despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Despacito Quiero desnudarte a besos despacito Firmar las paredes de tu laberinto Y hacer de tu cuerpo tu